Welcome to Wallatopia. Please visit wallatopia.info for more information and to sign up to be included in our drawings we do every other week for the wallets we do on this program. Uh, please also look at the notes below, see if there's links in there uh, that interest you. There are, of course, links for this wallet as well as other information. Now, let's open up the Bardi Aviator Bifold Wallet. This is a very nice presentation box. It's a slider. Let's get this open here. It's got a nice, it's to be cotton pouch it comes in. Very nice. This is the mocha color. Take a quick look here. Nice threading. You can see it's double stitched or back stitched on all the stress points. great feel to it. Moving on to the feature review of the Bardi Aviator Bifold Wallet. This wallet, uh, by being a bifold, we don't have any features on the exterior. So as we move to the interior, we see that on the left-hand side over here, we have a slot for cards or cash back here. Looks like we have a slot here, and it does seem to go all the way over, but it seems to be non-functional uh, due to this thread right here. So there's one over here. On the right-hand side, on the back, we have another card slot here, as well as one, two card slots on the front. And that gives us a review of the features of the Bardi Aviator Bifold Wallet. On to the card and cash insertion test. As you saw, I got eight cards in there, plus six slips of cash folded over just once, which is great. Just slips underneath this side, uh, or it could slip over on this side. The uh, width and depth of this is perfect to be able to fold over cash once and put it in there. Uh, as always, uh, it, it, that makes it less bulkier. And every, all, everything else seemed to operate just fine and cooperate. Now, uh, this uh, the design feature of this white nylon thread joining these two pieces under here really leaves an entire card slot unused. And the leather does go from one end to the other, so you really can, you know, get your fingers underneath this thing. And uh, and if we look at this here, you can see that it does bridge the entire scope of the wall from back to front and from side to side. So this right here is uh, more of a design aesthetic than anything else. And so I wonder if you clipped it that you'd have another card slot available to you. Anyway, the leather is made from full, oh boy, yeah, full grain Italian pull-up leather which means it's been veg tanned very well. This is the highest quality you can get, and it shows uh, all the indications of high quality leather. Now it has rough edges on here, uh, but it smells like a full grain leather, and it's really soft to the touch. This is, a, this is nice quality construction in a wallet. Now it's sewn with a bonded nylon thread that has this very nice uh, back stitch on here, which gives extra support, obviously. It's priced at $45, which is great, and it's made in the United States. The company is based in Minnesota. Now it's easy to use and the patina on this will look very nice as it breaks in over time. And uh, it will be a really, really great wallet in your pocket. The wallet measures four inches by three inches by 0.25 inches thin. And the perceptions on this is that it's very nicely made. Uh, lots of uh, thought was put into the quality of the materials and the build of this to ensure it will last a long time, especially within this price range, which is a very fair and good price range. Now, let's get into the final score. For quality of four, price of three, Features of three, usability of four, and perception of four. That gives us a final score of 37 out of 50, or 3.7 out of five. Thanks for joining us. Please look at these other videos. Let us uh, know if you have any comments. You can put them down below. Tell your friends, and we'll talk soon. Thanks, bye.